Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of A Moment in the Word. Today is 15 April 2024, and there will never be another day like it, right? April 15th, uh, it's tax day, tax day deadline, uh, so uh, all, all that good stuff. It is 71 degrees currently at, um, at the, on the banks of the Silver River. And the beautiful Silver River, by the, may I add. And we have a high of 88 today. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I, re I really do. I, li I like this time of year. I like when things get warmer. And, and all that good stuff. It's just a lot, of, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Let's see here. All right. Let's go uh, to the chat. Before we get to the chat, um, I'm going to give you the, the title. Um, the title today is A Promise of Restoration. Okay, and, and that's in the book of, of Ezekiel. And uh, we're going to be in Ezekiel chapter 11, verses 14 uh, through 25. And it's kind of, kind of, listen to me. It, it's neat to go back to the Old Testament, you know, and, and you see how relevant it is today, even in the Old Testament and the New Testament um, for us, you know. The, the Old Testament is the Old Covenant. The, the, the New Testament is the New Covenant, which we don't have to worry about sacrifices or anything like that. That, that sacrifice has been already done by, by Jesus Christ, and we don't, we don't have to do that. But um, today I want to talk to you about uh, promise of <clears throat> restoration, how he restores uh, Israel, and he's continuing to do that, uh, even though the diversity that Israel um, is going through right now you know, God's got, got not going to let his nation fall. So um, we, we, he, he's proved that over and over the years. You know, there's a lot of talk out there about, I'm already getting started. Here we go. About, you know, the Lord's coming, the Lord's coming, the Lord's coming. The Lord is coming in his own way and his own timing. He, he is coming. Um, I see so many, I'm a YouTuber, meaning I watch a lot of YouTube videos and um, and whatnot, and you got to be so careful on what you listen to, because it is so easy um, to to not only hear false doctrine but believe false doctrine because they make it sound so nice. Okay, um, the Bible says that even Jesus does not know when when the Lord is coming, and when he when when the Lord said when God. The Lord, our God, says, son, go get your bride. That's when he'll know, and we're going to know. Everybody's going to know. Everyone's going to know. And uh, it's going to be a day. It's going to be a glorious day for some. It's going to be a horrific day and forever for, for others. Um, you know, that's why we need to pray for each other. We need to pray for folks that are not... Uh, or have never called out the Lord Jesus, and it's not too late. You know, I, I believe in uh, deathbed confessions. Uh, absolutely, I do. I just heard a sermon last night from uh, uh, John MacArthur. It's uh, a little over a year old. Uh, the, the sermon was, but I heard it heard it when it came out fresh, fresh, and um, um, and he, he was telling of a story of somebody who had a deathbed confession, and and it was real. Uh, it, it, it was real and they realized how much time he wasted uh, over his life, what he could have done, you know, but, you know, I, I firmly believe that that person is in heaven uh, today. He, he called uh, on the name of the Lord, repented of his sins. Um, he died like five days later afterwards. But wow. Why wait that long? You know what I mean? Why waste all that that precious time you could have serving your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ right now, here and now, um, all the way to the end of this life? Because uh, there is another life, and that's with Jesus. Um, for those who don't believe, there's 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 a life in hell too. You're gonna be alive. You'll be alive and well, but you'll be alive. And in heaven, you'll be alive and well. And uh, we'll we'll get to that uh, as we get going here. Now. Let me take a sip of coffee, and I'm going to open up the chat. I've already been talking for six minutes. Can't believe that. Well, four minutes because I had the thing on. Mm. 
Oh, got my German coffee this morning, my Munich coffee. Let's go here to the to the chat. Okay, who's the first one here? We have Chris. Good morning, Chris. Um, I've slept better uh, th this week. Um, I have. Uh, or this weekend. I've been having a hard time sleeping. Um, you know, but... Um, but I've got good days and bad days, you know, and, and, we, and we just keep, we just keep going and, and, uh, and, and keep going. That's right. That's we We just keep going. Um, let's see. I'm going to put on here. I'm going to check my slot better. Got a, here. let's see here. So we got one person and I, I can't tell who, who it is on there. Vera, Vera, Germany. <laughs> Hello, my friend Vera. Uh, Begetta still. Uh, have you spaghetti eyes? Yeah? Ich mochte ein spaghetti eyes. <laughs> hey, Chris. I uh, hope you're doing well. There we go. How are you? Uh, Carol, 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 Carol is a mess and a half. And we love our Carol and our Chris and everybody here. Absolutely. I'm good. I see your message disappeared. My what message? What you talk about, Willis? Your name's gonna be Willis today, Chris. What you talk about, Willis? Uh, this thing crazy. Oh, okay, that's between you and Carol. Okay, all right. Uh, it's seventy-five in North Kakalaki, where you are. Sixty, maybe going to seventy. Okay, shoot, I'm three hours. I'd be going to. Uh, I'd rather be at the beach. Uh, right, Carol. There you go. Hey, hop in your car. All right. I'm not got my AC cranking. She's got it cranking. She said with, with her sakalata. Chocolata with her head there. Chocolata. <laughs> hmm. Look at here. Blaine from the Carnival Sunshine. How's it going? Uh, Blaine, where are you? Um, I, I know he, he is on a... Uh, watch this. This, this is going to mess up cruise, folks. I know you're on a big boat out in the middle of the ocean somewhere. So where, <laughs> where are you on that big boat out in the ocean? <laughs> Um, uh, this one's out. Everyone went ahead to brunch. Oh, good deal. That's great. Well, Glenn, I hope you're having a great time and, and thanks for checking in. We're gonna be safe. Don't get burned. There we go. Hey, ready to travel. Hi, Roxanne. Good morning, Roxanne. We're going to Germany. He's fighting in Deutschland. He's coming to Deutschland. Yeah. Let me see, Roxanne. Lynn, the Okies here. How's it going, Lynn? Welcome in to you. Welcome into you, Darren. Did you get your time? Oh yeah, yes, yeah, been done, all done. How about you, Facebook user? Uh, that must that must be Vera. That's Vera right there. Farm wife. Hello, Darren and friends. I'm outside working. We'll be listening. It's a beautiful day here today. Our rain and storms uh, predicted for the next couple of days. Our guys are starting to plant soybeans. Okay, all right, that's good stuff. And farm wife. Hey, farm wife. Uh, you make it. Oh, I see. I see emoji. Oh, I see it. That, that when I see those, I gotta take a sip. Mm. Oh, oh, so good. Das is so good. Mana coffee is so good. Good morning, KT. How are you doing this morning? I hope you had a great weekend. Wow, you eat chocolate? <laughs> Just chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> That's funny. Colleen, good morning, Darren and, friend, and everyone in the chat. That's awesome. I'm Mr. Darren and friends like uh, Farm Wife did. <laughs> He's on the love boat. Oh, care. I'm staying out of that one. I'm staying out of that one. I'm innocent. Good morning, Colleen. Oh, Colleen. Colleen. All right. Well, folks, I'm at the end of my chat. You know what that means? We're going to get down to the meat of the matter. Um, I do not have a, a card made. Uh because, you know, it, it couldn't fit everything in one. I tried it. it. It was all tiny. I was like, you know what? Might as well just have everybody grab your Bibles. So if you would grab your Bibles, uh, I should have mentioned that before um, when I got started. But go in and grab your Bibles. And um, while you're getting your Bibles, I'll give you a little bit of history on, on Ezekiel before we get there. And turn to Ezekiel chapter 11. And we're going to be in 14 through 25. So Ezekiel chapter 11, verses 14 through 25. And I don't want to bore you to death on on the on the history, the the, the background and, and and setting, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some some good points here. Um, 
Uh, this book has always been named for its author by Ezekiel. Um, who He's not mentioned anywhere else in scripture. Uh, his name means strengthened God, strengthened by God, excuse me, um, which uh, was for the uh, prophetic uh, ministry that he had, uh, that he was called. He uses visions, he uses prophecies, uh, signs, symbols to, to proclaim and, and proclaim uh, the message of God um, to his exiled people. OK, remember, they're in uh, exile during this time. Um, Ezekiel's age, scholars say uh, that he is about 25 when he was taken into captive, and he was 30 when he was called into uh, to ministry. Uh, 30 was the age where uh, priests uh, started their, their office way back, back then during that time. Uh, his ministry began in uh, 593 uh, slash 92 BC, and it lasted for 22 years until 14 or until 571, 70 BC. Um, he was a contemporary, both of Jeremiah, who was, uh, about 20 years older, uh, by the way, during, during that time and Daniel, who was also the same age. Um, you know, and so like, like Jeremiah, Zechariah, Ezekiel, they were, uh, both a, a prophet and, and a priest. And because of the, 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 the priestly uh, background, um, they were very interested in the details of the temple. Uh, so God used these these gentlemen, um, the, the, these prophets, uh, to write um, um, a lot about them. Okay, um, Ezekiel and his wife. He's mentioned in, later on in chapter twenty four. They're among ten thousand Jews taken captive in Babylon in, in five ninety seven uh, BC. Um, they lived in uh, Tel Aviv. Uh, three, they lived on the bank of the Chebar River, um, and then that's probably around the southeast east of Babylon. Um, Ezekiel later on writes of his wife's, uh, writes of his wife's death while in exile, but the book does not mention Ezekiel's death. Okay. It has the wife, but not, not him. So, uh, we have the, the Israelite prince, uh, whose idolatry rebuked around 560, uh, BC. Um, later on, uh, the, the author, which is Ezekiel, um, received his call to prophecy in 593 BC. This is very uh, interesting stuff. And I don't want to bore you with all these, these facts, but isn't that, isn't that kind of cool? Isn't that kind of cool? Um, to give you a background of this, um, you know, there, there's a historical perspective in, in everything, right? Uh, Israel's uh, United Kingdom lasted uh, more than 110 years uh, through the reigns of Saul, David, Solomon. Um, then the kingdom was uh, divided uh, it was it was divided. They had Israel north, you know, got Judah south, um, extended from 931 BC to 722-21 BC. I love history. I have a map of world history. I have a world history chart on my side. Maybe I'll share that with you. And, and it's it's really neat. It's really neat. Um, it's got the in accordance with Bible chronology. It starts with Adam. Let me go back here. That's what I have here. Uh, it starts right here in um, uh, 4004 BC. It goes all, all the way through Adam and Eve, uh, 3904 BC, and all the way through. And it's got scripture to 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 reference, and it goes all the way through through uh, the the world history. And uh, it is an, an awesome awesome chart. And all of this stuff there is part of my library. I'm a library there. I love I love to read. But uh, it's got all the, it, it explains the, the, the plumb line, it explains the century lines, the line numbers, the index, the uh, index, the color scheme. I know I'm getting a little bit deep today, but I, but I, I love this stuff. Um, it even shows the religious memberships of, of the world, um, you know, with like how many Roman Catholics, uh, Orthodox, Protestants, Buddhists, all, Muslim, all, all this stuff through here. So uh, it, it's pretty neat. Uh, it goes through uh, Greece, Persia, all this stuff. Even China, Japan is on here. I mean, all all the way through. It shows about the migration of nations, how the nations uh, came about, uh, Christ when uh, Christ was here on on this earth, and 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 whatnot. So um, that's just a little bit extra today. wasn't planned, but a little bit extra and uh, whatnot. I just want to give you a little little bit a little bit of history here, a little bit of a. Uh, of a uh, good good stuff to 
to uh, paint the picture of what we're reading today because um, I, I think it's very important. Um, you know, the, the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord is very uh, central to Ezekiel. And, and the, the same should be for us. You know, we should, we should glorify him and, and everything. But this, this book here includes graphic descriptions of the disobedience of Israel and Judah. Despite how, how kind and loving God was, they were still uh, disobedience. But it also shows that God's desire for Israel to bear fruit so he can bless them. You know, no matter how selfish they, they indulged in, or, or, or whatnot. Um, but he, he, there's a lot of, lot of scenes, a lot, a lot of illustrations here talking about, uh, during that time, if you read through the whole book of Ezekiel. Um, so, um, just one thing in the outline here. Um, and this is, uh, this is out of my study Bible, by the way, uh, of, uh, John MacArthur, Dr. John, John MacArthur. When I was just talking about earlier, when I started, um, and I'm going to write what he wrote. I'm going to read what he wrote here in the outline. Um, the book can be largely divided into sections about condemnation, re, uh, retribulation, and then consolation, restoration. A more detailed book divides the book into four sessions. sections. First are prophecies on the ruin of Jerusalem, chapters 1 through 24. Second are prophecies of retribution on nearby uh, nations, 25 through 32, with a glimpse of God's future restoration of Israel, 28, 25 through 26. Thirdly, there is a transition chapter, 33, which gives instruction concerning the last call for Israel to repent. Finally, the fourth division includes rich expectations of involving God's future restoration of Israel. All right, so I, ho I hope I didn't bore you too bad uh, on that. Mike Burns, how's it going, sir? I just saw you pop up on the Facebook side. Ho hope you're doing well. Uh, there's a lot more uh, uh, to that, and I, I haven't even started the meat of the matter yet. This, this is just, you know, why you're getting your Bibles. So I, I hope you have your Bibles, um, and let's see here. I'm going to put, okay, let's see, da, 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 25, yeah. Uh, there, there's an outline here. I'm not going to go over the outline right now. Um, there, there's a, a, a awesome outline here. Uh, the prophecies of Jerusalem, you know, prophecies of rep, rep, retribution of the nations, um, prophecies for Israel's repentance, prophecies of Israel's restoration, Remove Israel's enemies from the land, reinstatement, redistribution, all that stuff is, is, is right here. All right, so let's go over. If you're still with me, I don't know who's, who's with me yet. Let's go over to here and let me see. Let me, let me, let me catch up on here and then we're going to get, get there. I'll give you a few more extra minutes to grab your Bibles. I really want you to follow me along today. Follow along with me today. So um, we're going to stop off here. Uh, okay. I think I stopped, stopped here. I'm not sure. Uh, good morning, KT. Uh, good morning, Darren. Yeah, Colleen. Yep, yeah, absolutely. I hope you're doing well. Love boat. That's we saw that. All right. Uh, how's your missus doing? Uh, she, she's hanging in there. Thank you very much. I, I, I appreciate that. I'll let her know you asked. Hey, Gabrielle, we're so glad you're here. We are so glad you're here. Never late, always on time. Thumbs up. Thanks, Carol. Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate that. Make sure you tell your friends about this channel um, uh, as we study the Word of God together. Gabriel Hucker, what is the promises of return? That's right. That's exactly right. Uh, his return, his uh, the, the rest restoration. Kimberly's here. Good morning, Kimberly. More Mountain Rome, are you feeling better? I like the new thumbnail, but usually, yeah, yeah, I think I, uh, I, I just wanted to change it up a little, a little bit. I had the same one for over, a little over two years. Um, so I just want to change it up a little bit. I changed it up for special occasions, you know, like when we had Resurrection Holy Week and all that stuff. Um, I, I changed it, you know, for that. And, and when I have prayer, uh, special prayer, and all that good stuff. But about it. Yeah, it is, Lynn. It really is. It shows a lot. It shows a lot of history on there. I really like the new thumb. Oh, thank you, Lynn. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I hope you're all well. I do. I just, I just yeah, it, it, it could because it, it, it looks totally different. I want to get my mug off it. You know what I mean? I want to get my mug, and it's not about me. It's about him and everything. And I replace it with a cross. So, uh, uh, yeah. So I, I like it. 
Uh, kind of like, I'm not gonna, yeah, and, and I love I love your your icon, Lynn. There you go. Doing good. All right. There's me. I can't spell today. Hey, I can't spell every day. <laughs> okay. uh, Lynn, yes, it is. A good deal. It's good to laugh at yourself, right? I could spell. But thank God for spell check because sometimes them, them keys uh, get get in the way. All right, let's uh, let's pray together. I'm going to stop right here. Uh, if someone could if someone could put me a little mark there saying start here. I don't see Diane yet, uh, but if someone could put there, um, I'm stopping at 11:20. I'm going to write this down. 11:20. Okay, so my chat is off. Chat, so I cannot see the chat right now. All right, but let's pray. Lord, uh, we love you. Thank you, Lord, for for loving us. Thank you, Lord, for this day uh, that you've uh, given us uh, to study your word. Lord, help us to uh, reflect on you, reflect on your love and your mercy and your grace that you show each and every one of us every day. Lord, I pray for those who have not um, turned to you, who have not called out your name, who have not repented and believed that they would do so today. Lord, bless this reading today, bless this devotion, and may um, it, it, it touch someone's heart. But Lord, we ask that you remove any hardness that's out there. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, excuse me. All right. So, so here we are. We're in Ezekiel chapter 11, uh, verses 14 through 27. I'll sort of give you a little, little background on it, uh, on, on Ezekiel. Um, you know, Ezekiel, Ezekiel pronounces judgment on Jerusalem's uh, wicked counselors and the promises that God will restore Israel. We see that all through here, and, and we're, we're, we'll talk about that. And Ezekiel is still teaching us today, the, the book of Ezekiel, on how we need to examine our lives here. Okay. Um, all right. Let, let, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. All right. So. Um, verse 14 in chapter 11, Ezekiel, uh, talk about the promise of restoration. You know, when, when God makes a promise, he keeps it, he keeps it and everything is in his time. And it's not, it's not our timing. Okay. All right. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, son of man, your brothers, your relatives, your fellow exiles, and the whole house of Israel and all of them are those to whom are in the heaven of Jerusalem have said, go far from the Lord. This land has been given us a possession. Therefore say, thus says the Lord God, though I have removed them far away among, among the nations and through, though I have scattered them among the countries, yet I was a sanctuary for them a little while in the countries where they had gone. Therefore say, thus says the Lord God, I will gather you from the peoples and assemble you out of the countries among you which have been scattered and I will give you the land of Israel. When they came there, they will remove all its detestable things and all its abominations from it. And I will give them one heart and put a new spirit within them. And I will take the heart of stone out of their flesh and give them a heart of flesh that they may walk in my statues and keep my ordinance and do them. Then they, they shall be my people and I shall be their God. Verse 21. But as for those whose hearts go after their detestable things and abominations, I will bring their conduct down on their heads declares the lord god then the cherubim lifted up their wings with the wheels beside them and the glory of the god of israel hovered over them the glory of the lord went up from the midst of the city and stood over the mountain which is the east of the city and the spirit lifted me up and brought me brought me in a vision by the spirit of god to the exiles in chaldea so the vision that i had seen left me then I told the exiles of all the things that the Lord had showed me. Okay. So he had a dream. He had a, he had a, he had a vision, but you know, he's the glory of the Lord. He saw the, the glory of the Lord. The cherubim lifted up their wings with the wheels beside them and the glory of God of, of Israel. Amen. So we, 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 we see this here. Let, let's talk about that um, a, a little bit here. Uh, verse 14 to 15. Um, Ezekiel was told he had a new family, uh, not, not a priest of, of Jerusalem, um, he was, um, to whom he was taught by blood, but uh, the, fetal, the fellow exiles in Babylon, okay, um, they, they were treated as outcasts. And the, pre, the priesthood was about to be ended in, um, 
and was to have a new family. Verse, uh, verse 15, still in verse 15, go, when it says, go far from, this is the, the words uh, of those still left in Jerusalem, still there, uh, carrying, uh, carrying away of Jonakiah. Um, and the exiles indicated that um, they felt smugly secure and believed believed the land was in, in their possession. Verse 16, the sanctuary. We talk about you know the, the sanctuary. God was the protection, always, and the provision for those who have been scattered through all over 70, 70 years until they were re restored. Um, the exiles may have cast off uh, the Jews, but God had not. God did not. Okay, and this holds uh, true for the future and now the restoration of the Jews. And, you know, and that kind of got put this on my heart now during all this. And here Israel was just attacked by Iran uh, a couple of nights ago. You know, it's amazing how God works in it. And it got put this on my heart Saturday morning, even before I knew all this stuff. To, to, to talk about this, but let, let's get back into it. Verses uh, 19 and 20, where it talks about a new uh, spirit, you know, God's pledge, pledge here, not only to restore Ezekiel's people, but to bring a new covenant. He's talking about Jesus. Jesus is a new covenant. Remember, you got the old covenant, okay? And then you got the new covenant, all right? Jesus is that new covenant, okay? We're, we're not bound by the law, praise God, because if we we were we all be in a world of heat, if we, if we, if we were bound by that law, but Jesus Christ through His grace and His mercies, and and shed blood on the cross made it possible for us to to be with heaven one day, to be with God one day in, in heaven, okay. But not only the new covenant, but His blessings, the blessings of forgiveness, blessings of restoration for us, and this goes with us today. You know, we we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, right? We all have. You know, but we can be restored too. You know, we call out to Him, even even as believers, and we sin, we mess up. We we could ask God to restore us. Okay, we it's nonstop. It's it's nonstop, and we got to remember that. No no one's perfect. I'm certainly not perfect. You know, but I know who is, and, that, and that's Jesus Christ, and He He will do the same for you, and and you, you need to uh, repent and, and 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 come to Him. Okay. There, there's so so much humility to that, to you know, because we can't do it on our own. I can't do it on my own. You can't do it on your own. No one uh, could do this on their own. There's nothing we could bring to the table, because because we're 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 not good enough. We're we're not nothing enough. Jesus is 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 the only way to heaven. You see, many places out there talk about many ways to get to heaven. There's only one way to heaven. That's through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. The shed blood of Jesus Christ. And without the shedding of blood, there wouldn't be any remission of sins. You know, if that didn't happen, we would have been just, just fried. You know what I mean? Just or whatever. He'd just been done with us. All right. Almost done here. Verse uh, 23, talk about the mountain east. Okay. Um, the glory of God moved to the, the Mount of Olives. Remember that? Okay. You got the, the Mount of Olives there. Uh, from which the glorious Son of God will return in the second ad advent. And when the Lord comes, oh my goodness, uh, brought to me in a, in a vision, uh, on, on uh, verse 24, remember that vision I was talking about? Um, again, Ezekiel has uh, re remained bodily in his Babylonian house, uh, seen by his visitors, but but God, who supernaturally showed him a vision, a vision in, Jeru in Jerusalem, caused a sense of awareness, per se, uh, to return to Chaldea, thus ending the, the the vision state. Now, once that vision was completed, Ezekiel was able to tell his exiled countrymen what God has showed him. You know, that's 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 pretty awesome. You know, and and, and we see that in verse uh, uh, twenty five. But like I was saying, we'll, we'll turn this back here to 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 our lives. My life, your lives are all of us, okay? He will restore you. He will restore you no matter how far you think you've gotten, no matter how bad you think you are. We're bad. But because of him, he forgives us in his grace and his mercy. The Bible says we're like filthy rags, guys. 
you know, there, there, there's nothing that we can do. Our full dependence is on God, on He and He alone. It's important that we live for the Lord every single day. Every single day, live for the Lord. Live for His ways, not our ways. That's when we mess up. That's when we mess up, when we start living our way, any way we want to do it. You know, here, look, as believers, we should do anything and everything that, that brings glory and honor to God. And when, when something that we do or whatever even say that does not bring uh, glory to God, we need to change that. We need to repent of that. And, and, and we need to change that, okay? In closing here, the book of Ezekiel right here reminds us that we can seek out the Lord in rainy days. We can seek out the Lord and, and, and when we're going through bad, dark times, when we feel like, oh my goodness, what's going to happen now? You know, he is there. You know, we need to align ourselves with the one and true God. Okay. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one. That's three persons in one. You know, that's sort of hard to take in sometimes. Three and one, how's that? You know, I don't know, but I know. All right. We, we got to remember whose we are and and who we are as believers, as as, as, as Christians, as, as, as Christ followers. Okay, who, who we are. We are imperfect people. Kimberly, uh, I love her saying, um, I'm, I'm imperfectly I'm perfectly imperfect. <laughs> I love that. Uh, when I first met her, I saw that and uh, uh, her uh, her sign there. Um, but yeah, it, it was. It's, <clears throat> once we realize that, we we need to repent and ask God to to be with us. Okay, um, we're going to go into a month. A month, a month, a moment of reflection. I'm going to go into a moment of reflection, a minute, 50 seconds. I'm going to ask that you stay with me if you can. Uh, at the end of the moment of reflection, um, I will pray. Then I will get back in the chat. Right now, I have all the chats off. I don't, I don't even know who's here yet uh, right now. But uh, let, let's let's reflect on God's word together um, in Ezekiel and uh, pray for Israel. Okay. Pray for wars to stop. Um, pray for ourselves to rely on God more uh, in our everyday life, in our daily daily living. Okay, Let, let's do that. This this next minute, fifty seconds, as we uh, reflect on the one.
Let's go, Lord, together and pray. Father God, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for this time, Lord, to um, reflect on you, reflect on your provision that you give for us. Just like way back then in the Old Testament, you, 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 you um, t- took care of the folks that were in exile. Lord, we know you can take care of us when we go through our troubles and, and trials even today. That you're always there with us. And we can't we can't say thank you enough for that. Thank you, Lord, for protecting us and drawing us to you. And Lord, I, I pray that anyone has not called out your name and repented and, and come to you, I pray that they would do so today. For today is a day of salvation. And Lord, we, we, we love you so much. Thank you for loving us. We certainly don't deserve it, but you do anyway. And that we should all be grateful and blessed. Lord, uh, I pray for anyone here that's going through any kind of uh, uh, trouble in their own lives and exiled their own lives and their ways and their um, maybe health issues, financial issues, whatever that may be. Uh, just be with them, Lord. Uh, be with those who are traveling today on the roads, out in the oceans, uh, Blaine and Mallory and other folks out there. Uh, they're on uh, uh, the cruise. Uh, just be with them all. Keep them safe. Uh, keep everybody safe here, Lord, uh, as we go about our days. Lord, you know all of us and all our needs, and we lift those to you. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, I, I pray for Israel. I pray for all these wars, no matter where they're at, to stop. But you, you said in your word there will be wars and rumors of wars and all kinds of stuff. And things are happening, just like you say. But Lord, help us stay focused on the one and true God, and that's you. Thank you, Lord, for this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Okay, now I need to get back to... 1120, right? I wrote down 1120. Okay. Turn my comments back on. And we'll get back to it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think it was this one here. There's one. I can't spell it. Yeah. Okay. That's where it was. Very, very, okay. I'm not, I know I'm pretty close. So if I repeat something, I'll do it. All right. So I'm going to go back here to the comments here. We'll go through the comments. Then, then, uh, We'll, uh, we'll go about our day, okay? I appreciate everyone being here today. And uh, um, it's, it's really, really awesome. It's good to go deep every once in a while, you know, go, go deeper and deeper in Scripture. I just can't get enough, you know what I mean? Um, I, I just can't get enough. Like the song, I just can't get enough. I just can't get, you know, I, I just love the Word of God and how it just pierces my heart, my soul. And my prayer, my prayer is that it pierces your heart and soul the same way. That you you crave for it, you you desire it, you want it. You know, that should be our desire is to is to to crave the word of God, right? To to, to make God known in your in your life. That's so important. We're any day. <laughs> there it goes. Yes, it is. Let's see what your face is on it. Remember on on what? Oh yeah, no, my my, uh, my face was on it. Um, I mean, I was you know I put it on there. It's no big deal, but but I just want to want to change it up. Yeah, my, my face was on it. Uh, laughing. There you go. Start here. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Start here. Thank you, uh, Kimberly. Appreciate that. Or there. Or there too. Right. Uh, Roxanne, pray I get what I need to go to MumbleCon. I applied. To I got a free constant creator ticket, but the hotel is not free. So, oh, wow. Wow. Well, I'll be, be praying for you, uh, Roxanne, that you get that. That'd be fun. Amen. Amen. All right. I understand. I understand, Lynn. Yeah. You'll look great. Right with Bible face on the left. Yeah. There you go. Um, 
this is our temporary home. Uh, this walk on earth is a pathway. Our prayer house, heaven, those who keep Jesus, the Lord's here. Oh, that's one of temporary. Amen. That's right. And live for the Lord. That's right. Amen. Lynn's saying amen. We're walking in no more than Jesus walked here while here on earth. Think about all he endured. Ooh, I can't even. Oh, man. You know something? How do I like the birds back there today? You like the birds? It has a uh, um, scripture verse and instrumental hymns. Um, can't play it too long. I don't want to get in trouble. But that's what I listened to during the day. And then uh, scripture uh, pops up. Mute that. There you go. It's pretty neat. I like birds. I'm a birdie. <laughs> Yeah, your tattoo. I can't. I can't think of the word. I can't think of the word, Kimberly. Uh, move up. That's right. Good morning, Darren. Driving list. Hey, Scott. All right. Praying for you on the road and all those who are out there. Um, be safe. It's not you. It's the other person. Uh, crazy stuff, my son. You call it a son. <laughs> I'm. I can't think of tattoos to save my life. Thank you, Kimberly. I can't think of that. Um, you know, I have no signs or tattoos. <laughs> As I said, Mino, Mino. Morning, Scott. Uh, hello, Scott. Morning, morning. Oops, Scott. Morning, Scott. Safe travel. That's right. Amen. Colleen said. Gabriel says, Amen. Amen. I've become a strong Christian every day by staying in the word and following. You know, that's the thing. We need to stay in the word. We need to stay in constant, um, constant, um, be gravitated to his word. You know, you know, I, I think back in my early years, all that time I wasted. Wow. But you can't think on that. You, you can start now. Start now. Whoever's listening, you don't have to wait. You know, don't be thinking about the past now and in the future. You know, one day at a time. Sweet Jesus. This four day journey has helped me understand my purpose. God has purpose. Oh, that's right. That's right. Never inspire colleagues from doing. There we go. Hey, Chris. Let's see. I'm getting an. No, that says beautiful. Okay, that's cool. I have two tattoos. All right, not me, Lynn. <laughs> I don't have tattoos. <clears throat> I mean, he's your own. I mean, I'm no judging here. I just don't want no tattoo. I don't like needles, man. I I got my last single shot two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago tomorrow. Uh, me no like needles. I said me no. Uh, I like coffee though. <laughs> Uh, zero attached here. There you go. There you go. I got a huh. Okay. I cover my scars. Well, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I, I know a couple people that do that. Um, I got some scars uh, too. <laughs> Trust me. Between my back and my leg, from when I broke my leg. Oh my gosh. Spent nine days in a German hospital. <clears throat> that was the best hospital stay I ever had in my life, though. <clears throat> I I can see the Zugspitze every day, <laughs> every day from my hospital window. That's the highest peak in Germany. That's pretty awesome. Uh, speaking of Germany, since we're at the end, end of the, uh, there you go. Um, I'm going to, um, which means I'll be covering them. Oh, okay. I might go live. Oh, wow. That's cool, Chris. Uh, Chris may be going live, so be checking out uh, Chris at Ohio Travels with Chris. I forgot what I was going to say now. Oh, I remember. Never mind. I, I have six tattoos, Colleen says. Eight tattoos. Wow. I do that goes from my neck all the way down my spine. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yep, she said. All right. Now, now, are you ready? Um. If you are a member of my Facebook group page right here, either here or my German channel, which is my Memphis Germany with Darren or whatnot. Um, last night, um, I put out some information for, and the dates, to include the dates for the Passion Play in Oberammergau, Germany. Now, you might be asking yourself, when is that? Well, these, these are uh, every 10 years. Um, this year is a little bit different because of, of the C word. I was there in 22. I was at that one. Um, I've been over Emmerich many, many times, but I uh, finally made a passion play 
I've been in the town two different times during the pension play while I was going on, but couldn't get into the play because of tickets. But um, I am planning a trip uh, to take a group of 12. Okay. Um, and um, I put the information out there. Um, I have two already. Already. Uh, last night, sent me a message, signed me up. So, Actually, I have 10 left. I got 10 slots left. And this is for 2030. You, you heard that right. Um, let's see. I'm going to put, um, let me get here. Ooh. Okay, look at, I got to look at the right stuff, right? Look at the right stuff. Here it is, Passion Play. All right. So, Passion Play 2030. Um, it's from September 20th or October 4th. Um, those are the dates and what we're doing, we're, we're, um, everybody's pitching in, right? Everybody's pitching in, uh, for the van hotels and, what, and whatnot. And it's cheaper for everybody. If you go on, there's a lot of groups out there, a lot of, uh, travel agencies that will charge four or $5,000 a piece, three, four, five, six. I've seen them up to eight, nine and everything. I don't do that. Me don't do that. Um, in fact, I'm right there with you. We all, including me, I uh, split the cost. Uh, I'm just a guy who loves Germany and loves this stuff. And we all split the cost. And, uh, people say, how do you get to get in Germany so much? Well, I take groups. You take groups. It's cheaper, right? Everybody splits the cost. It's good to go. Um, so, um, I, I go by myself too, too, but, um, I, I love taking, I love people. And I love taking groups. Um, like I said, okay, well, I'm reading what I put. I put a, I put a PDF out there. I made, I took that picture, by the way, and, I, and then I added the Passion Play 2030. And then um, um, I explained this play is offered every 10 years. Um, and it takes a lot of planning, well in advance planning. This isn't to say, oh, let's go to Passion Play next week. You can't do that. Uh, this play is only done every 10 years for between June and October. And, uh, and then that's it for 10 years, but we got a special one coming up in, in um, uh, 2033 as well, 33 or 34, 33, um, for the 400-year anniversary of, of, of the vow of when they vowed to, um, to, uh, to tell everybody about the life, death, and resurrection of Christ, which is cool. Um, well... Uh, how much does it cost? Well, that is to be determined, but to hold your slot, okay, I would need a hundred dollar deposit. This holds your slot, um, no later than uh, February 1st, 2028. So you don't have to give me the hundred dollars until 2028, but it's first come, first serve, okay. Um, and, and this hundred dollars is refundable until February 1st of two, uh, 2028. Now, you understand that hundred dollars, it will hold your slot, you know, um, and it's refundable, um, until February 1st. All right. I brought down here before, uh, if there are any slots available after uh, February 1st, um, the deposits $250 and which will be non-refundable. So, uh, that's for, uh, planning purposes. Um, and um, because you, you have to, you have, you have to, you have to plan ahead with, with vehicles, hotels and all that good stuff. And those are non-refundable, especially during the, during that time of, of season. Um, so after February 1st, <coughs> deposits 250, those are non-refundable. Um, <clears throat> prices will, will come out later for the, the tickets, uh, usually around January and February of 2028 and well, whatnot. Um, you'll get all that money goes toward, towards your uh, transportation. Okay. So you, you're not losing out of this, this money that you, you're just put out in advance and, and whatnot. Um, I put down there, this deposit will hold your slot for the van rental and more information is, is to come. <clears throat> I put sort of a, a skeleton itinerary out there. We'll be going to, uh, Frankfurt, Schweinfurt, Bamberg, Nuremberg, Heidelberg, Oberhammergau, Berchtesgaden, Salzburg, and much more. Again, we're five and a half years out. Think about it. A little over. And uh, um, 
so it's good to to get this uh, while, while you can. So I'm going to be doing a lot, lot of stuff. Um, again, that's just a skeleton itinerary, but the important things. Okay, I already got two. I'm only taking twelve, so there's only ten slots left um, for uh, for this. And I'll repeat one more time: if you submit hundred hundred dollar deposit to hold your slot no later than uh, one February 2028. Okay, um, it's refundable until. February 1st, 2028. After that, it's never fundable. But any deposits after February 1st um, is $250, which is none refundable. Okay. If you got any questions, you just uh, uh, let me know. Well, that just gives you a um, synopsis of it. I mentioned it a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago on here. Um, um, Y'all were the first to know. And uh, I'm just putting it out there. It's out there. I put it in my Facebook groups. Um, so all this stuff, all this stuff. All right. Now, where in the world did I stop this time? Okay. Um, okay. My, I say my scars to find my family, my family with a cross. Okay. These don't cover scars and scars are reward for your life. War is right. Okay. There you go. My strength of my faith. I say war because I think. Uh, the word I want. Yeah, okay, I got you. I understand. I agree to cover something related to my faith or family. Uh, would love to someday. Well, yeah, it'd be great, Chris. Oh, cool. There we go. Those cars are ugly and unbearable to see sometimes in some places. Okay. I understand when you say war, I felt like I was fighting a war. Yeah, yeah. We Life is a war sometimes. It's a battle. But Jesus fights your battles. The Lord fights your battles for you. I understand what you're saying. There you go. Pretty pearly. Yeah, look at KT. You see? And I thought of you too when I went there. They had a parrot earlier. Um, another one too. And I said, I wonder if KT's gonna be here. And sure enough, that's great. What else are you gonna do? Okay. Um, well, we'll be doing a lot of stuff. We'll be all over Germany. Uh, but that passion play is big. You, you, you just don't wake up and I'm going to passion play. Um many times I've gone to Germany, lived there six years. I finally made the play in 2022, right? Um, I made a, uh, a video of the passion play. Um, you couldn't film inside, but, uh, I made a video of the passion play, um, in 2022 and I, I'm going to, I'm going to post it in here. Uh, figure it out here. I'll, I'll post it. Where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Hang on a second. The fifth annual. Put in the fifth annual. Okay. Well. Here it is. Okay, okay, copy. I'm gonna go to here. Go to here. Go to here. And I'm gonna go to here. It is right here. Here is the uh, the video I made uh, uh, while my time there in the Passion Play. I think I made it up there. And uh, you, you'll be able to see that video. It, it, it was a cool video. It was a cool time. I actually met uh, Millie Vanelli's dancers, one of dan <laughs> their dancers there. It's in the video. You, you, you'll, you'll see. Can you say it again about the trip I missed? I will do whatever I need to go. Hopefully everything goes right. Um I'll be able to do so. Yes, passion play, passion play, Kimberly. Uh, I got I got a PDF on my um, my Facebook group. You can follow along too. Um, the date's going to be in in um, September twentieth or October fourth, twenty thirty. And uh, it's first come first serve. Hundred dollar hold your slot until February uh, twenty twenty eight, and it's re refundable until then. 
After that, it's non-refundable. And then after the first, it's $250 uh, to hold your spot if there are any left. Um, and that's non-refundable. So um, to, to be safe, not, you know, whenever anybody wants to go, you just let me know. I think I want to go to sleep through this live. I really enjoy this live. Oh, yeah. You, hey, you're welcome. And, you know, thank God for you too, Colleen. Absolutely. And, and everybody here, you know, uh, y'all, y'all are my friends. I'll, I look forward to this, uh, each and every day. So, uh, I'm glad you, you got some peace there. So you, you could, uh, you could, uh, listen. Colleen, I'm going to go to the bottom, but what a surprise. I wanted to discover. All right. I think, you, I, um, um, I was mentioning it earlier, but it, it, it right now, um, the, the full price won't be out for, for a while. This hundred dollars, it will, it will cover your deposit for the van rental, and we all split it. And the hundred dollar goes towards that van rental. So it's just uh, you, you're not just giving that money away. That's, that's your money, uh, but I, I hold your spot because it takes time to rent the van. I gotta, I, I gotta save it, and then I'm responsible. So uh, it it it, uh, it cover it covers that. So um, full prices will come out later. Um, um, we're, we're still five and a half years out. Um, but remember a hundred dollars is refundable at any time, um, before February 1st of 2028. So, um, the key is holding spots and whatnot. Uh, I already got two. I take that back three. I somebody just came across here. I don't even know that person. Wow. Okay. So it's getting out there. So there are nine slots left. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I don't even know who that is. Um, anyways, all right, let me let's get going here. So there's nine slots left. And we're we're it's 2024, April. All right, uh, not one. Uh, oh, look at this. Look at there. Uh, that sounds like a challenge there, Mountain Rom Mountain Woman from from Chris. There is a link right there to uh to that Facebook um uh, that YouTube, excuse me, that YouTube uh, video I made while I was at the Passion Play in Oberammergau. Uh, check it out; it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, right, and we are, yeah, right, we are here on Earth. That, that's right. That, that's right. And uh, Amen. We could be with Jesus during that time. And we'll see the real Passion Play. I love the Passion movie when I cry. Really, really cry. Yeah, and and you and I understand, and you will during this passion play too. They 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 do such a realistic job. Um, it's in German. The, the 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 play is in German, but you're reading a book and you follow along. And uh, get this: the play is five hours long. Five hours long. It's you go, you go over two and a half hours, then they break for three. And then, and then you and then you go back and you finish the other two and a half. And let me tell you something. It, 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 it is a a blessing for sure. Um, I showed you all this before, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it for those who did not see it. I got a. Uh, this is from 2010. I was there while it was happening, but I couldn't get a ticket because it's over 10 years. Uh, this is the Passion Play right here. I mean, that's not a painting. That is an actual picture, all right? And the the stage, the, the everything is just unreal. These are these are pictures, not not paintings, not drawings, not nothing. These are actual pictures. They do a uh, wonderful job. Um, I mean, it shows everything. Jesus. Uh, Washing feet. I mean, they, they go through the whole, 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 uh, holy week. You know, when he's riding, riding through on a donkey. Um, his arrest. His arrest right there. And uh, while I'm uh, talking about this, some of y'all know about this, some of you don't. Um, this is when... Okay, here, here. So you, you get the picture, right? I mean, it's a, uh, it's, it's. They do a really good job. Um, and I was so blessed to make the the one in twenty twenty two. That was so awesome. That was so awesome. 
Um, a little bit of history of what, what started this. In 1633, there was a plague, okay, the European plague in, in Germany. Uh, people were dying, dropping like flies everywhere, okay. Obermergal, where this place is, uh, towns nearby and all that stuff, where the, the mayor, the Bugemeister, okay, they, he was a, a Christian, and he, and he called the town to prayer. We need to go down to the church, and we're, we're all going to pray, and the church is right there. Man, I, it's right there. I've uh, been inside that church and everything. And um, so they, they pray and, and ask God to spare this town from from this plague. And, and they made a vow. They said, we will tell everybody about your live death and resurrection. And back then, they didn't have DVDs, TV, YouTube, none of that stuff, right? 1600s. But uh, they made a vow to do that. Well, from that point on, no one else died from the plague. Not one person. There were people dropping like flies uh, around there and everything. And that plague, um, it was uh, like tars, boils of tars, like big zits. You know, you, you touch the skin, it'll come, it'll, it, it, it was awful, smelly, awful, awful. And a lot of, a lot of those folks are buried there. There's, there's, uh, there's a graveyard and those folks are buried by there. But anyways, no one else died from that point on. So ever since then, every 10 years, they, they, they're doing this. Uh, minus wars, C word, COVID, all that stuff, uh, time and, and, and everything. Um, but what's cool, what's cool about it is another, another thing that's cool about it. The people that are in the play, um, 95% of them are direct descendants from these people in the 1600s, direct descendants from the folks that was praying and, 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 and please save our town direct descendants um you you could be an outsider and be in the play if you live there um, um for 20 years and then you, you have to apply to be in the play and be accepted to to um to be in that play so tons of history on that tons of history but uh i go to obramagal uh, every time i go to germany and uh first of all that's, that's the best place to get spaghetti ice by the way in obramagal Cafe Paradiso, uh, and uh, but it, it was finally great to make it 2022. I was there earlier in June uh, 2022 as well. I was there in 2024, uh, three as well. But uh, Eric B was with us. That's another story. Eric B and I got stranded over here, Miguel. I kid you not, stranded, and we almost we almost had tickets to the second half of, of the play. Almost did. But uh, it just didn't work out. We were stuck in Obermergal. That's Miguel. That's a video, too. If you look back at my Obermergal Miguel series, <laughs> now that's something else. Me and Eric B. from uh, Traveling uh, Travel Adventures with Eric B., you'll, you'll see that as well. You know, but uh, let's see here. Uh, you're, you're playing. Yeah, I got to. got to. Um, I, I got groups in 2025. That's completely booked. 2026. There's only a few slots left for 26. These are separate. Uh, not passion play, obviously, but groups going to Germany. Um, yeah, so people are, are making their their uh, making their um, making their plans. So, uh, hey, well, thanks, Gabriel. Thank you so much uh, for being here. You have a, a great day too. A blessed day. Chris, you're inspired. Blessed day. There you go. Thanks, Kimberly. You're inspired. There you go. Wow. There you go. Yeah. I still want to go to Chris. Yeah. Well, hey, well, let's make it happen. Oh, I do too. And and there, there's, uh, I, I made sure I had a ticket right next to the wall where I could stand. I, I was stand and sit, stand and sit, sit and stand, sit and sit. And uh, yeah, it is, really is amazing. That would be fun. Yeah. You know, that God works a lot when he allows us to see past our plans, ideas, and pleasures for the enemy for his will be done. And when you develop, want to serve him. Amen. That's right. And let God be your leader. Amen. Allow him to direct you. Amen. Amen. Well, folks, I'm at the end of the chat, and uh, I pray that you uh, have a great day. Uh, I pray that you consider uh, coming. Uh, there's nine slots left. <laughs> I started out with 12, not even 24 hours ago. Uh, not even 12 hours ago. Now I only have nine for 2030. That blows my mind. Um, wow. That's amazing, isn't it? Folks, I'm, I'm going to pray one more time. 
and then we'll, we'll, we'll close out. Okay. All right. Father God, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your time. Thank you, Lord, for listening to us. Thank you, Lord, for putting up with us. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving us of our sins. Help us look to you. Be with us all, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Folks, I love y'all. Y'all have a great day. And uh, remember, he loves you. He loves you. And there's nothing you can do to take that love away. Because God is so good, right? God is so good. How's Helen George? Oh, Helen George is great. Helen George is great. I'm up there now. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. I got to run. All right. Have a great day, guys. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you. The Lord be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. And on the count of three, I'm going to trust that you're saying it with me. Okay, as we say, in Jesus' name we pray together on the count of three. One, two, three. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You all have a great day. Go tell someone about Jesus. Go tell someone what he's done for you and in your life. And, and uh, just love on people. Love on people. Forgive people. No matter how hard it is. Forgive that person. God will see you through just like the Israelites, you know, when held in exile back in the book of Ezekiel, Ezekiel, like he's doing now with Israel. He's protecting Israel. He's still doing it. That'll blow you away. Look to the Lord. Nowhere else, okay? Love y'all. We'll see you tomorrow for another edition of A Moment's.